How's it going YouTube? Kyle or Epic here with a fun tutorial for you all this week on a Kong to Precision. Obviously, make sure you know how to do a basic precision and make sure you know how to do a Kong. Without them, this may not help you very much. So here's what it looks like. Like so. It's a Kong or cat pass over an obstacle and you're landing on a ledge, a beam, a rail, or some sort of thing. Real fast, before we go and talk about this bit, because this bit should be easy. All you really gotta focus on is keeping your chest off. So what I mean by that is just make sure when you're taking off, you let your chest pass that center point. So when you push, you're pushing up and out like that, which will help you traject yourself that way. But the landing is probably the hardest part. When you really know how to do a precision, you'll know that a lot of it has to do with foot placement, bending of the knees, cushioning the landing, not landing stiff, and also chest posture. When you're landing on a beam, if you land with your chest or forward here, you're going to fall forward. If you land with your chest too far up or back, you're going to fall backwards. You want to make sure that you don't go at it either. When you go at it, you're just going to stop and fall back. Or if it's like a beam or a rail that moves, you're going to push it forward and it's going to fall. What you want to do is keep your chest more upright as you're coming down. So the best way to demonstrate this is just simply get on a beam or a rail, jump up, come down, and just feel how easy that is. It's a lot easier when you're just starting here and jumping at it. So keep that in mind. All right, so start let's go through the Kong. When you're doing the Kong, you don't just want to go forward and uh, as hard as you can. Power is not what's going to get you there. It's more about fluidity, controlling, and using your momentum to make it at least to the beam with your feet. The way to do that is to start by reaching forward, keeping your chest low, and wherever your hands is at, that's that center point. Once your chest passes that, then you push, which will send you up and out. Whereas if you start over here like this, the only way to go from here is down. So going low like this will help you get a little bit more height and distance as you go out. Make sure you drive that back leg up. That'll help you with a little bit extra height but the most important thing is after you pass that center point, you gotta pull your knees forward and get those feet ahead of you and get that chest upright. And you're not trying to make it to it. That's why the whole trajecting yourself up will help the most. But it's the feet that you have to focus on once you're passing over the obstacle because you gotta pick your feet up and reach to land down on that beam. Now foot placement doesn't matter too much. What I recommend is about shoulder width apart or closer. Any further is a little bit too much, but you want to kind of have all that control kind of based around one area. The more widespread you are, the easier it's going to be to tilt and fall, especially whenever you're trying to work on balance and landing especially. So the way you want to land is you want to land on the balls of your feet about right here. Not on your heels, not in the middle because that's where it's going to hurt the worst, but coming down on the balls of your feet. That way you have all the extra mobility in the world to land it. Whereas if you're on the middle of your feet, it's very easy to lose your balance. And on your heels, God forbid that happens because you can slip and hit your ass and that's just gonna suck. And that's really pretty much it. Other than that, it's just really focusing on making the Kong part fluid and easy. It should literally flow like water. You should be relaxed using only the amount of effort that's necessary to do the Kong. After you're passing the Kong, fix your posture. So once you're in the air and you're in that fight or flight mode, control your body by getting that posture upright, picking your feet up, because if your feet stay straight, you're gonna land diagonal right at it, and you're just gonna pop back. So pick your feet up, reach to land on it with your feet, cushion the landing, and breathe. Keep your hands in front, chest upright, and you pretty much just did Kong the precision. When you're landing, don't land where your butt touches your heel. You wanna bend and land soft, like you're trying to land a bubble wrap without popping any of the bubbles, by bending your knees, not before the landing, but with the landing. If you bend them before, you can still stomp hard with them bent. You wanna bend them with the landing, keeping your heels up, and be relaxed and breathe. If you keep having yourself like fall over like this, if you're losing your balance even after you land, think two things. Butt down, chest up. This stance right here is the ultimate balance stance, where your heels are off the ground, it's just your toes and your hands are here. The more of this that you do, the less balance you'll have. So try and keep everything in a small bubble and very slow movements so you can keep that balance in that small space 
and it'll make it a lot easier for you to land. And whenever you're starting to go here, tip over, butt down, chest up, and you're good to go. Because this stance here has all the mobility in the world, whereas on your heels in the middle of your foot, it's just almost impossible to do just that. And other than that, it's just working on that balance, posture, all that. It's a pretty easy thought process. Like thinking about it is really easy, but the idea of really having the mastery over your body and controlling every detail to make it look very clean is kind of challenging. So if you kind of do it a couple times and you still don't make it right the way you want to, don't get discouraged. Drill it. Really pay attention to what your body's doing. Think about how it feels. Pay attention to your body and the way it moves and think about what you could change, what you could take away, what you could add, and then just play with it a little bit until you figure it out. You'll figure it out eventually, but you gotta be persistent, let it stay fun, and just kind of breathe and be relaxed about it. Without nothing more to do, here's some slow-mos. Thanks a lot, you guys. Take great care and stay positive. kind of explain this is to stand on the beam, simply jump up and land down. But how? How? About shoulder width or you know, about shoulder width blah blah. Why? Why? What is going on? And then I'm gay.